All right, here's the wheel. This is before. All right. Kind of agitated like the other videos. This is just a detail brush, just so I can get into all the little spots. That. that takes all the dirt and stuff off. Give it a good rinse. Don't worry about those marks. Alright, pause it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get all set up and dry the wheel off and then we'll come back and polish. Alright, so the polish I'm using is just Mother's Mag's, Mag Aluminum Polish. It's for raw aluminum, chrome, stuff like that. And then you have a couple ways of doing it. You can just take this and then just put it everywhere, which I like. This way is a little bit better getting at these things. These are the mother's polishing ball and the cone. Getting those into a lot of these places is really hard to do. So, just make a big mess. So I have a couple of these little holes here. this little guy and put it on low speed. You want this thing to turn black. The black means that you're polishing. If you test this stuff, it says if you don't get black, you test it on a small spot. If you don't get any black, it doesn't turn black. That means it has a coating. Don't use it. Don't use that stuff. It's not for that. These are, these are raw, so you can do it. Let's go about a few. You know, 10, 15 seconds in each hole.
And then the one with the tire sensor, a little more complicated, so just go slow. And let it kind of just go around. I don't feel like taking it out. So the perfection's not not my goal. And then for these little spots here, you can use a cone like that. You just want to keep the cone wet. Don't let it dry out. All right, I'm going to resume in a minute, and I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. Good? Yep. All right, so just basically rubbed it down. I used the cone for almost all of it in here. I did the lip by hand, did all this by hand. Just kind of get in here. It's all in the details, so spend as much time as you want. I wear gloves because everything turns black. You don't want to get on your hands. Takes a couple days to get off. All right. There you have it. So as you can see, the reflection of the phone. All right. I'm gonna resume as soon as I'm done. I'm just buffing it with a cloth. Doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay. Alright, so that's it in a nutshell on how it's done. Nothing fancy. You can use blue magic. You can use, you can do it all by your hands. You can not buy those. They're like 30 something dollars each at the auto parts store. So the more coats you do, the better it's going to look. And it's all in the details. So when you get in real close over here, I got to get in there, take all these little caps. I'm buying new ones so it looks good. And I'll polish all that out. But that's it. It's not, it's not as difficult as, you know, some people think. It's just time, time and patience. All right, thanks for watching. Courtesy of my daughter did all the video. My awesome little man right there.